one of the big problems that India has been facing is of food price inflation. And the problem of inflation exists across the world and across emerging markets. Uh, we have seen in the past few months, consumer prices, wholesale prices come off quite a bit. But do you expect or anticipate this problem of inflation to persist? That's great news for the farmers. If the farmers see the outlook for prices being robust going forward, it gives them an incentive and another uh, opportunity to invest. Uh, and if you think of it, uh, food competes for, um, for energy like energy does, and if you see that the diet changes, um, the more pressure you have on, on nutrients. I'll give you one example. In order to produce a, a kilo of beef, you need seven kilos of cereal. In order to produce a kilo of pork, you need four kilos of cereal. Even to produce a kilo of poultry, you need two kilos of cereal. So the more your diet changes as you get wealthier, the more pressure you have on the basic nutrients. And cereal is 40 to 45% of our diets as humans. So you put that into perspective and you see that long term, if there are supports for prices in, uh, for, for uh, agricultural prices, that means that the outlook for the farmer is better. That means they will put more investment on the ground.